This is Chris from GoodWorkflow.com. Today I'm going to show you the best apps for working productively on your Android smartphone. The first one is called Pocket. It's basically a Dropbox for interesting articles and blogs that you find online. How it works is uh, especially good in combination with Facebook if you don't want to waste time checking out all the interesting links that you find. So we go to Facebook. Here's an interesting article that I want to save but I don't want, don't want to read it right now. So you open it and send it to Pocket. It gets saved in the background and the next time you open Pocket it's downloading the article and it's right there for uh, reading it offline. This works even better with a browser called Floating Browser. So I click the link. Instead of choosing the regular browser or Chrome, you just take Floating Browser, which will open a small window here. And the nice thing about this is you stay in Facebook and can continue using it while the website is loading. Here too, you can uh, maximize it or minimize it and click on share, share URL to pocket. The next app I'm going to show you is called Notif. With this one you can set yourself reminders which will appear right there in this little menu here. So I'm just going to write a reminder, click on create and there we go, test reminder. A great app for making notes in between out of every app that you're in is called Floating Stickies. It looks like a sticky note, you can uh, write something here. Once you're done, you can uh, put it to the left side and it will appear there as a tiny little transparent pen. So from every app that you're in, you can open this pen by dragging it in the middle of the screen and continue writing. If you used an iPhone or you have a Mac and you use Spotlight to uh, use it as an app launcher, you probably want to do the same thing on your Android. Now you can do that with Google Search, but it's painfully slow. So another app which does the task much faster is called Quick Search. There we go. My most favorite app next to Evernote is called MindMeister. It is basically an online mind mapping tool with an app for Android. It's a little bit slow, but I guess it's going to get better. If you like to read things in another than your native language, you'll probably like the apps by BitNights. So if I have a word here which I want to translate, I just highlight it and send it to the translation app from BitNights and there will be a little pop-up window with a translation. Another great app is called Llama. With this one you can set up location profiles and based on the cell phone towers in your region, it will uh, find out where you are and you can set up a passcode lock to automatically activate once you leave your home or your workplace. When you enter your home or your workplace, the passcode lock will automatically be deactivated again, so you don't have to type it in every time you open up your phone. Next to toggling the passcode lock, you can do other things like automatically toggling your mobile internet connection, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can uh, change the brightness of the screen, everything that you can change in your Android phone, you, you can let automatically be changed by the app called Llama. One app which can massively accelerate your workflow on your Android is called All-in-One Gestures. Usually if you want to exit an app, go back to home screen, you press the home button. If you want to access the task menu, you long press the home button, which takes far too long time for me. And if you want to go back, you have to go all the way down the screen here to this little button. Now with all-in-one apps, you can do the same thing from the corners of your display. For example, accessing the task manager by doing this kind of swipe. 
going back to desktop with this kind of swipe and emulating the back button by this kind of swipe. At the same time, I set up that uh, this other app that I showed you before, Sticky Notes, will be open whenever I do this kind of swipe. So that's a really great app to really make your workflow on the Android much faster. Oftentimes I find myself in situations where I want to quickly alternate between recently used apps, like the Alt Tab or Command Tab feature from your PC or your Mac. This you can do with an app called Switcher. Let's go to uh, Google Play Store and to Astro File Manager. And now to switch back to Google Play Store, I just drag this little button to the middle of the screen. Go back to Astro File Manager, same thing. If you are a procrastinator like me, you can use an app called Self Control. With this you can set specific times a day where you will not be able to use any apps except some that you specified. So you can lock yourself out of Facebook, Twitter and all the other time consumers, but allow yourself to use certain apps which you will use for work. A nice app to download YouTube videos is called TubeMate. Now you won't find this one in the Play Store, so you have to find it yourself on the internet. You can also download MP3, which makes it really nice if you just want one specific song from YouTube. The best app to make really cheap phone calls is called Mobile VoIP. With this one, uh, you can choose between 30 different mobile voice over IP providers and pick the cheapest one. I found one, it's called VoIP Yo, with which I can make phone calls to most of my friends for half a cent per minute. You can do the same thing even if your internet connection really sucks by using the callback feature. This way, once you activate it, you will receive a call on your phone and once you pick it up, the call will be made to your uh, partner. So you will have a connection directly from your cell phone to the other person's cell phone and you're not dependent from the speed of your internet connection. One of the gems to keep your Android phone really fast is Greenify. What usually happens over time is that there are many apps which just, just stay in the background and use up RAM, making your phone slower and using battery. Greenify, which was in the beginning only available for rooted phones, and nowadays uh, you can also use it if you don't have a root, it closes all these apps which stay in the background, so they don't take up any RAM anymore, and your phone will be as fast as on the first day that you got it. To do this, you just click on this little widget, and you close the apps which are still open manually, and they will stay closed. One app to extend your battery life is called Juice Defender. What it does is it turns off your internet connection whenever your phone is switched off and not needed. Just to turn it on automatically every 15 or 30 minutes for a very short period. So all the new messages and whatever will uh, come into the phone. But the internet connection doesn't stay on all the time. So these are the best apps that I've found over the past year. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my website goodworkflow.com.